well aware. Um, and so we, we do this congregation update maybe once a year, but because of COVID and such, it's been a, a little bit longer than that. <clears throat> um, so it's kind of like a town hall meeting, and we give a short presentation, and then we open up for questions, um, just so that we're all on the same page. Um, and so um, uh, many, many times when Abuna and I go visit, people have a lot of questions. Um, and we try to answer them as best as we can. And sometimes we, we answer some people more fully than others. So it's better to have um, this. So just bear with me. I only have six slides. So usually it's about a slide a minute. <laughs> but it might be a little longer than that. Okay. So um, for those of you who are new to the church, um, some people don't know exactly how we started and when we started and why we started. Um, so I just give a little bit of history of what happened um, over the years, it's just two slides, <laughs> um, and then we'll talk a little more about um, the other things. Um, so first of all, by the grace of God, we started 2014. Um, it was his eminence's um, vision to have churches that focus not only on um, praying in the English language, but on addressing the cultural issues and differences, um, because the worship and praise and salvation should not pertain to a specific culture or a specific language. Um, <clears throat> so that's why he um, came up with this pilot project of, of the American Coptic Orthodox churches. Um, and so we started in 2014. There were a couple of other churches before that. St. Paul was the first. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, the, the servants were very active from the beginning. He said well, they ha even had a miss meeting with his eminence one of the first times he came um, to the church. Um, before we even had this location, and said, okay, do you, what kind of place do you want to pray in? Uh, they said, say, do we need a place? Do we need a church? Do you, do, do you want um, a building like this where we can just continue and pray and rent or even purchase? And, and the congregation says, no, we want, we want our own location so the kids can, can pray for it. And we're not by as many uh, limitations so anyways, Sayyidina blessed the idea, um, and we purchased land just a few months after that in, in 2015. Um, <clears throat> I'll try to be brief. And then we started the project. So it was a piece of land in Chino Hills, 2.3 acres. Um, we already have it over half paid off, thank God. Um, and then we started the plans to, to build. Um, there's nothing on it right now except for a small house. Um, and... Uh, the plan took a long time. <laughs> um, we, we worked uh, to the best of our ability um, with the city, and we went back several times back and forth. Um, they, they were supportive, um, but there were some different issues that we had to address, which took years. <laughs> um, and we addressed them, thank God. We got conditional use permit. Then we changed, or we, we made the buildings bigger because we needed more room, trying to anticipate our future needs. And they made us go back to, to, to the council um, and, and the planning commission. And anyway, thank God, finally we got it approved during COVID. So we had to go three times. First time it was approved. Second time when we made the distance, they denied. And then the third time, um, thank God, uh, the blessings of COVID, they, they approved. Uh, but this whole time we have been designing. Um, the architectural design is done. The engineering documents are finished. We submitted the construction documents to the city. And thank God, um, they have relatively been approved. And so um, that's basically, you know, the history. Um, right now, in the future, what we're looking at is we're doing kind of three things at the same time. <laughs> so we're trying to do our job faithfully. Um, we're working, continuing to work with the city to get the final permits approved. It will, they told us it will be about six months. Um, we, we, there's two parts. There's the grading permit and there's the construction permit. The grading permit is ready to go. We're just not pulling it because we still have a while. But it's it's basically approved um, with just a couple of clarifications. The building permit um, is on its way. Um, this, the city is very familiar with our project <laughs> over the last five years. Um, and um, it's just basically a matter of time. Um, so the architect was telling us, if you guys want to start now to pull the permit, it's going to be six months and then most likely you have to start, or th there's a period of time where you have to start. If not, you have to reapply 
Um, and it just gets a little bit complicated. Um, so that should be done in April. So that's the first thing. The second thing is um, the loan from the bank. Um, and thank God we have, we have a, a good bank that the diocese has used. Um, and one of our servants is, is, is attending <laughs> um, both the church and the working there. Um, <clears throat> and so they, uh, they have gi given us a certain loan, um, which is good. But the third part of the equation is the bids uh, for the contractors. So we sent bids to five contractors, three responded, and they gave us um, three tentative numbers. And then we compared the numbers <laughs> with what the bank said they would qualify. I'm like, this is not going to work. <laughs> and we need God to intervene. And thank God he did. Um, we spoke to the bank again, and they said, um, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. Um, but just keep those three things, in, three things in mind regarding um, the loan, the, the, the permits, and um, the, uh, the bids or the contractor. So the contractor, the bank, and um, the city. Um, so this is just, we're not going to go too much detail in the project, but I'm sure you, if you want more information, you can go on, online. And we have a lot of pictures and designs and, and things there. If you need more, you know, just please let, let, let us know. We're, we're, we've done this before, but we'd love to share the, the details about this. Um, so there's two phases. We're going to start with phase one, um, which is the Sunday school building and the multipurpose hall. And we'll pray in the hall, and even we're going to divide it so that there's still a place for a gym, kind of like what we have here, but maybe double the size of everything, okay? Double the size of classes, double the size of the church, maybe even more, and double the size of the gym that we have. <clears throat> so as you know, we're in need of space. We're utilizing every inch as, as we can uh, of this project. <clears throat> um, so, so basically, to go back to the, to the financial piece, um, so here, this, this slide might help. This is the second to last slide. And, and uh, then uh, we'll do announcements and such. So regarding the income, the bank said, we qualified you for a $3.5 million loan um, in the past. The project is probably going to be double that, right? Um, but since we had a very good year, thanks to your generosity and, and God's grace, um, last year was much better than any year we've ever had. Um, including this year. <laughs> and so the bank was saying, if you have two consecutive good years, then we can qualify you for more, like $5 million or even more than that. Um, so um, that's why we're kind of bringing all this together. And they said, once the year is over, we can qualify for the loan in April. So everything is basically lining up for the Feast of the Resurrection. Um, that's God's plan, um, not ours. So the city will basically give us the permit in April. The, the bank will basically give us the loan. We don't know exactly how much until the end of the year um, uh, in April. And um, the construction can start that um, around that time. Um, so that's the income. I already explained the loan. Um, I think I already mentioned the project. Um, and finally, also, the, the contractor will be selected out of the three, will be selected by April. And we, have, we will have negotiated the final numbers with them as well. Um, so everything is coming uh, close. I know we kept saying that over the, the years. Oh, two more years, two more years. <laughs> but now it's more like six months, um, thank God. The, the, the last piece of the puzzle, and I'm sure you've received the email. Did I just get the emails? Um, that explained a lot more um, in detail about the numbers and such. But basically what the bank is telling us is if we get um, uh, equivalent or better than 2020 um, numbers, we can qualify for a lot more, which, which would give us like a lot less difference between um, the loan and between um, how much the project will cost. And thank God we've raised a lot already. Um, I was asking the, uh, the treasurer the other day, I was like, I'm just curious, how much have we raised Besides, like, regardless of how much we spent, because um, we have, thank God, raised almost over a million. But he said, no, total, since the day we started collecting, it's been about a million and a half. Um, but we had to spend a lot in terms of the designs and the permits and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, 
So the bank was saying, we need about 300,000 left for the next three months. Um, and so we thought we would, you know, express that to you to be, um, to let you know where we're at. We're confident that God will provide in, in due time um, and in his way. Um, but we're just doing our part to be transparent and to explain. Because some people say, well, no, how come you didn't tell us? <laughs> um, so, so that's what we're doing. Any questions? I know it's kind of fast, but I just don't want a lot of... <laughs> yes, Claudia. Oh, yeah. Um, that was just about the, oh, we call it the three and three campaign. So 300,000 <laughs> in three months. That's, that's our financial goal. If God is willing, we already had a family say, okay, we'd like, and then he said, you know, we've had matching campaigns in the past, and the board members and others are saying, well, why don't we do a matching campaign? We have to have <laughs> donors for that. So we're, if anyone wants to, to contribute for that, more than welcome, just, just let us know. We had one family contact us yesterday saying, um, we don't have, you know, we have $10,000. We'd like to do that as a match. <laughs> and yes, that's what we have right now. <laughs> so maybe if we put a goal like for the end of the month or something. But um, thank God for, for everyone's generosity. It's, it's not, in, in your mind, it might seem a lot, but actually it's not much more than what we're already being graced with um, over the years. Any other questions? Yes. Oh, yes, yes, thank you. Everyone was going to talk about the fundraiser. So, so we're going to do as many fundraisers as we can, at least in the next three months. Um, the big one is November 20th with the festival. Guna will explain um, the details for that and all the proceeds. So, so the bank is only looking at just total income. So whether you donate in the box or in a fundraiser or, or whatever, like however it comes, so it doesn't has, have to be necessarily um, pointed towards the fund. And, and so even we have a plan for, for, the, for the board. Once the general fund hits a certain number, then the rest goes to the building fund. Um, it would be nice if, if you want it for the building, just write in your memo. Um, but yes, we're doing fundraisers. fundraisers. The main ones is going to be um, November 20th, the Christmas festival. Any other questions before I turn it over to Luna to talk more about that? Okay, thank you for coming and staying. Yes, Francis. Yes. <laughs> Um, yes and no. <laughs> I mean, I, I hope I hope it doesn't come to that point. And thank God, almost every church has not gone to that point. But there was one, as far as I know, I, I'm, I'm not um, as um, aware of all the ins and outs that, that happened between the other churches, even though I've been a part of several churches over the years. But I only know of one church where they couldn't even get enough to get started. And because they're it's like 90% newcomers. Um, so Sayyidna did step in, and he has another church to help qualify that church for a loan, and they started it, started them off um, and helped. And so that's the only exception that I know of. Um, but, you know, keep in mind, like, in general, it's, it usually happens the other way around, where Sayyidna asks the church, okay, we need help for this. <laughs> so um, it's kind of, well... But God always provides, and and I don't think once Sayyidna sees that, like if if he has and he's willing, I mean, and, and he knows the need, he's not going to limit. But I think we have more um, power in it financially to do it on our own. <laughs> I mean, with all due respect, like it's just a lot easier as well. Um, so I I don't know of any churches where that actually there was a need for that because usually. It's kind of like a grassroots, and, and God touches the hearts of the people um, so that the, the, the money of the diocese doesn't necessarily have to be touched. Um, because usually those are for general funds, not a specific church. Um, and it's been working. Thank God, even there's, if you noticed in the last year, the number of churches that purchased property and built, like, it's, it's never happened in the 20 years or so, or 25 years that Sayyid has been with us. It's never happened this much before in such a short period of time. Um, so we're faithful that it's, it's, we're not, it's not going to come to that point. 
Anyone else? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. We have it. Okay. So if you have, yeah, if you have the thing, so I'd rather not publicize it, but if, if there is, you know, a, a specific need, like, we'll give it to you, you know, privately. So just come and ask us. Yeah. Or, or I'll just text it to you. <laughs> no problem. Anybody else? Okay, thank you for staying. I'll try to make this brief. So as Bono was alluding to, that there is a festival that we have been planning now for a couple of months now. Uh, this is going to be the second time that we've done a Christmas festival. It's going to be November 20th. And so please mark your calendars. It's on a Saturday. Um, we'll have a liturgy that morning. And then afterwards, we're going to start. And we have a lot of vendors coming out. We have a lot of good food coming out. We have a lot of people making food already, um, pre-orders and all that kind of good stuff. Um, there's going to be activities for the kids. Uh, everything is going to be kind of uh, HTC money based. So there's going to be a station where people can uh, purchase uh, HTC money so that everything could be spent on the grounds uh, that way. Um, we're trying to have the youth develop like a, a shooting contest in the gym and just different creative ways to, uh, to, to fundraise. It is clearly a fundraiser, right? So that's the intention is going to be clearly a fundraiser for, for our big goals. Um, not to be confused with something like uh, All Saints Night at the end of the month. That is, is not going to be a fundraiser. That is very different. So all the activities are, are it's a service. And so we want to, uh, you don't, there's no expectation for that kind of uh, relationship in terms of money uh, with something like All Saints Night. But, but the 20th, definitely that's, that has a very clear purpose. So please let your friends and families know from neighboring churches and all that kind of good stuff. We would like a big presence uh, to help us out with that kind of stuff. So that is one goal. Yes. Yeah, so we have the, we have the initial flyers that we have from the emails, um, and then we're working on printing out physical flyers. Uh, not too much, but we're trying to put them on Facebook and kind of different forms so that people can just forward things to other people or email things to other people. So we'll try our best to get the, the word out. And we're asking for all of your help as well. So one of the, the, the important things about the uh, festival is sure the, the financial aspect. But the most important thing about the festival is to activate the family to serve. That is our number one goal, right? And so if we raise money, that's great. Definitely that's meeting a goal. But uh, the number one priority with any kind of festival, as say this says, is how well did the church activate the people of the congregation to pitch in, right? In, in service, not in money. And so um, there are servants outside, uh, hopefully Rita and the team of uh, servants that are organizing the, the 11th uh, the festival. Um, they have a sign up genius for a lot of slots. We need people to man tables and to uh, participate in any kind of ways that you can. There are about two hour slots. So the day is going to go from like 10 o'clock in the morning to 7 o'clock at night. And so when we did this two years ago, the feedback from the servants was we were severely understaffed. And, um, and it's, it's a heavy burden to put on just a handful of people. And so I'm asking very directly that if everybody could take some time to look over the sign-up genius, to look at one of the stations or a couple of the stations, um, they vary from like the bookstore table to uh, the obstacle course for the kids. Uh, somebody to man that, like that's a table, um, things like that. Um, so there's about 14 stations, just to do the math, there's about 14 stations that need coverage with two-hour increments. So in other words, we need about 28 people per every two hours, if that, if that roughly makes sense, right? So um, please, please, I, I ask that we activate our church this way and that we participate in the festival this way as the priority. The financial part will come. Uh, I, I'm confident that God will bless this church. But this is very, very important that the people feel responsible uh, for their church and they serve in this way. And so I'm asking, please, again, <laughs> you'll see a sign-up genius go out, uh, a link to that on the emails. We're going to try to put it everywhere so that everybody knows um, this is a way to do that. Uh, any other things with the festival? So uh, what else? 
think that's it for me. Um, I don't want to take too much of your afternoon. In general, the announcements, um, they're going to be, so uh, All Saints Candy, if you guys can participate with that. We have the bin outside in the front. Uh, the women's meeting uh, on Tuesday evenings, uh, it's a hybrid. So there's upstairs where you can go in person, and there's also the login information uh, where you can zoom in. Um, they have a camera pointing at the table or the, the area so that people can watch and, and those can participate that way. Uh, again, the Christmas festivals, uh, the 20th of November. Um, the donations for Hope. So the Hope donations are due today. And if you haven't turned them in today, for that, but that's okay. We're going to have other opportunities for that. Um, we want to have a good relationship with the HOPE program of Chino Hills. And the idea was to give like those needed products, the detergents, the razors, the deodorants, and things like that. Um, it serves the families within Chino Hills Valley um, that go to, uh, that are part of the school district. And so a lot of foster families, a lot of uh, homeless families and things like that, they go through the HOPE Center and they pick up the needs uh, with no questions asked. Uh, and then there's also the gene drive, and that could be ongoing as well. So. Uh, good use uh, or slightly used jeans, we have to bin in front for that kind of stuff. But we're going to try to find a different opportunity for the holidays to serve them, um, perhaps with something, uh, we'll see, we're, we're talking to the director of Hope to find out what are some creative ways that a church like us can participate that's meaningful um, and so that we can build those relationships. So more information about that. There's a servant's prep meeting to, today after uh, Sunday school and there's a servant meeting tonight and so for those of you who have spouses that are serving, we will give them all the information today um, in the servant meeting tonight on Zoom so that they're in the loop as well, so that everybody, all the adults know what's going on. Um, and uh, we can all pray for this together. Is there anything else, Lord? I just want to say maybe two minutes. I'm not going to take a lot of time <clears throat> with you. A lot of us will always have a, going to a church that was already built it or already formed not too, too many people, they have the blessing to participate, to start a church, or to start to build a church. So this is a blessing that God giving to every one of us, not participate in this project. And I always tell the people, always tell the people, that <clears throat> the church never, never need money from anyone. We always come and tell God, God, please accept whatever I can do to help in this church so I can get the blessing, me and my family and my, 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 my house. So the, the subject of money, this is, it is, the money will come. The money will come 100%, we are sure that it will come. But we want everyone to get the blessing to have a chance to participate in that. And I always saying, that there is a three things to build a church. Money is not one of them, but the church is built on love, love and humility and respect. This is the three things that build the church and keep it going and keep it going. God bless you. You have two angels here in the church. God bless you that you have this kind of people serving you. God bless you and bless everything. Thank you so much. For, we, have, we have two angels. We have one archangel. <laughs> and we can just stand for praying. Heavenly Lord, make us worthy to feel about Thanksgiving. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Let us is there, daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but in Christ Jesus. Love God the Father, grace and be God's Son, and be gift of our sin. Go in peace, the peace of God be with you. Thank you. Any questions available anytime? Yes, we have the bar. <laughs> yes, it has to. Thank you. 
Thank you. 